something that had never been done uh, by the troops before. They made lots of cross country, so it's a, it's a really big deal. It's a round of applause. Three out of four. Let's go to the three good guys. The one only guy looks not good, so. for 10 years. 10 years? Yeah, this, this is my 10th year teacher. Uh, it's pretty good. All year except for one year when I was an instructor. I taught for a year in Australia. So that was the one year I was here. Yeah. Kangaroo takes good too. What kind of shampoo do I use to get the lovely bounce all you ladies want to know? I honestly don't know. It's whatever my wife buys that's in the shower, and she spends a lot of money on shampoo and conditioner, and I just use it, and it makes my hair, gets the volume and the bounce, and it looks really, really nice. So I have to give credit to my wife. Yeah, she, she bought us a So, why does anyone call you fellas? Is your track team called the Cross Country Team? Gillahs is a name that uh, the track kids a couple years ago came up with me before me. They just kind of one day were sitting there and said, Hey, Gillahs! And it kind of stuck, so we just go with it. What do you think they Yeah, it's pretty easy. Ah, big applause, big applause. So why did you become a drama teacher? Why did I become a drama teacher? It seemed a good idea at the time. That was why. Um, I, I just kind of fell into it when I got interviewed here at Mother Teresa. I actually was interviewed for an English position at first. And then uh, the principal at the time asked me if I would like to start a drama program. And I said, sure, why not? And that's how it started. I got the job. I got the job. Costumes. This year or all years? All years. Alright, well my first year that I was here I dressed up as uh, Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz and uh, shaved my legs off the ear. Um, it was more for shock value and, and stuff just to showcase that it doesn't really matter what you dress up as, it's just it's all in good fun. Um, the following year was one of the better ones that if you have any siblings that go here they will have told you about being dressed as Wonder Woman. Um, some people would say it was a little bit of a moment, but uh, it was fun. Um, this year's costume was, I was actually looking to be something else. I don't want to tell you what it is because I may actually be able to pull it off next year. Um, but I couldn't find the particularities of what I was looking for. Uh, so I came across this one and it looked funny with the frilly stuff. And I kind of went, hey, this might be fun to do something. So I picked it up and uh, I'll let that. Well, I'm sure everybody loves your costumes. Yeah, apparently I'm all over the world wide web. I'm an internet phenom. He's a cross-dressing phenom teacher. It's awesome. Yes. Alright, so some questions for the team. How does it feel to make history at BMT and going to Austin the first boys grade 9 team?
Thanks, everybody.